Ancient Egyptians believed that in order to survive for eternity, their bodies must be preserved here, on Earth. What they developed was a system of mummification in order to preserve the body. The first step after death was washing and cleaning the body properly. Step two was removal of the brain. To do this, the embalmers took a long, thin metal rod and shoved it up through the mummy's nose into his brain and then pulled his brain back out through his nose. In step three, the embalmers make a small incision on the left side of the abdomen. Using that incision, the embalmers then pull out four major internal organs, the lungs, the stomach, the intestines, and the liver. Each of the internal organs are then dried out and saved for later burial with the body. They are all placed in their own canoptic jar. To Amutif, the jackal-headed god looks after the stomach. Happy, the baboon-headed god looks after the lungs. Imseti, with a human head, looks after the liver. And Kebe Sinuf, the intestines. Now that the abdominal cavity is empty, the embalmers fill it with linen, sawdust, salt, and other absorbable materials. The body is then covered from head to toe in Egyptian natron salt for 70 days. After the 70 days are up, the body is again washed and scented in oils. At this point, the body is ready for the wrapping process. The embalmers start by wrapping the head, hands, and feet first. They continue wrapping until the entire body is covered. As each layer is added, the embalmers place amulets and charms on the body. Protection. Eternal life. As the embalmers add layers, they also add a natural glue called resin, which helps protect the body. A solid layer of cloth is placed over the body. On that cloth is a picture of Oasis. One final layer of resin coated protection. And the mummy is complete. Before burial, a ceremony called opening the mouth must take place. In this ceremony, a gold-plated spoon is touched to the mummy's eyes, nose, mouth, and ears, so that in the afterlife, it can hear, eat, smell, see, talk, etc. The Egyptians believed that the mummy's spirit, in order to make it to the afterlife, must go through a process called weighing the heart. The god Anubis is the judge. The mummy's heart is weighed against the feather of truth. If it is equal to the feather of truth, the mummy's spirit will go on to the afterlife. But if the mummy's heart weighs more than the feather of truth, it will be thrown to the god Amit, who will eat it, and the mummy's spirit will never make it to the afterlife. <laughs>